How do you know whether you need a snack or a meal? At first you don't because your diet brain has trained you out of knowing how much food you are likely to need. Now that's different than just saying, I know I'm going to need this much. This is how much I'm putting on my plate. This is how much I'm going to eat. No, that's still not what intuitive eating is. Intuitive eating is staying in the moment as you're eating and going, okay, yeah. Oh wow. Hunger is quiet. I guess I'm done. But, and before I move on, cause I know when I say that it bums people out, hunger has gone. I can't eat. Yeah. No, when hunger leaves and it's quiet, you simply delay eating more until it returns. But back to the main question here, what happens as an intuitive eater is over time you get really good at, hallelujah, knowing yourself, right? So normal. So at this, you know, after you have kind of gone through the initial transformation from a dieter to an intuitive eater, you know yourself and you go, you know what? Usually when I feel like this, I need about this much, but you're always open to the possibility that you were wrong and that you need more or less. But in general, you get really good at knowing this. At first, you're not, and that's okay. You just, like we're little kids relearning how to walk. It is that huge of a thing to know how to eat after all the messages that you've gotten your entire life about how you're supposed to eat. And all those messages are created by profit-driven diet and food companies. Do not take them at heart to heart. Instead, take yourself to heart. Like I always like to say, I am not leading anyone to me. I'm leading you to you. And that's beautiful. So you will be able to, in short order, say, yeah, when I feel like this, I, if you want to call it a meal, I need a meal. Or when I feel like this, you know, if I have just a little snack, I usually feel good. And then I can wait until later when I want to eat more because, you know, it's a different time of the day and it's more convenient or whatever. I can stave off that initial need to eat, you know, more because I know I can just have some, I'll feel good, I'll quiet down my hunger until more convenient time for me to eat what I probably will need, which may be more because just the routine you're in. Okay, so yeah, this is how you get out of that trap of diet mentality thinking. And you don't think in terms of, I'm gonna eat a meal here and a snack here and a meal here. You think I'm gonna satisfy hunger when it comes at me. And over time, I'm gonna get really good at knowing about how much I need so it won't be inconvenient. It'll still just be super enjoyable. Okay, great question. Thanks for asking.